Good evening, and welcome to the York College of Pennsylvania's Mass Communication Department's end of the semester television show. I'm Joe Johnson. For tonight's very special show, we will be looking at a new show produced by our very own students. Our first group is Morrissey Walsh, Michaela Heidel, Heather Fior, and Billy Rockamp. From group one, we have Billy Rockamp. Thanks for being here with us tonight. What are some of the challenges you would face while producing your own show? One of the big challenges we faced was actually editing the B-roll, and then we actually put each segment onto a separate hyperdeck. So we had about eight or nine hyperdecks that we were rotating in and out of the playback system. So I had to personally have someone help me at the hyperdeck system, read the script so I can know which ones to put in at which key times. Interesting. Now to Morrissey over at our Chrome Key. Morrissey, how did you come up with the idea for your show? Well, we knew we wanted to do an entertainment show. So from there, um, we took stories about real life happenings. So we had things from Adele, Billie Eilish, Shakira, all new entertainment happenings and formulated our show from there. We gathered our B-roll, we had our commercials and came together for our cohesive show. All right, and then for my last question for you guys, what advice would you give to future mass communication students trying to produce their own show? I would definitely say just be patient and have fun with it. It's never going to all go right on your first try, and luckily our professor at Seg the Video gives us three tries in practice and during our show so we can finally get it all right, and you're never going to get it right on the first and second attempt. There's going to be mishaps, there's going to be missed cues, and you just have to keep, uh, keep going with it and be patient. Let's take a look at a clip from their show. Good evening and welcome to YCP Entertainment News. My name is Morrissey Walsh and I'm here with Charlie Hector. We have an exciting show in store for you tonight. YCP Entertainment News is here to keep you updated on all things entertainment. And our first story of the night is news from superstar Adele. Well, hello from the other side. Adele has confirmed she's about to release a new song. According to her announcement tweet, the song is called Easy On Me and will drop next Friday. The Grammy Award-winning singer hasn't released new music since her 2015 album, 25. Some of her fans have shared pictures of Billboard saying 30, which is what she has previously revealed as the title of her new album. Adele has not revealed a release date for it yet. Welcome to Mothman. In group two is Alana Ray, Angel Gilbert, Jennifer Gutierrez, and Olivia Burr. I'm Laura C. Walsh, and with us tonight is group from group two is Olivia. So Olivia, what were some of the challenges your group faced while producing your own show? Um, so some of the challenges that we had were um, our graphics. Um, we really wanted to have an SNL kind of weekend update kind of portion in, of our show and trying to do that for the first time ever was very hard. Another one was lower thirds that we had trouble with. We really wanted to have some good lower thirds in and it just wasn't working out. So thankfully, one of our other teammates in our class, uh, Michaela, helped us with that. Well, I'm glad that worked out for you. Over to Alana on the Chroma Key. How did you come up with your ideas on the show? Well, we combined all of our group's ideas, and we were pretty creative with everything. Uh, we tried to stick to a theme of spooky, and it worked pretty well with our group. We're pretty, pretty smart and creative with all of that. And much how we came up with everything was just combining all of our ideas. All right, thanks, Alana. So, Olivia, final question. What advice would you give to future mass communication students trying to produce their own show? Um, I definitely would say find a group that you know that you'll work together well with because all of us brought something different. Angel is amazing at being a TD and graphics. Jennifer is just amazing around editing and everything. And Alana is just the best person to be with. Like, she's so funny. And so having, like, a little mini segment of a Mothman and just having her run with it, I thought it just brought so much to our show. All right, thank you so much for being here. Now here's a look at some of Group 2's show. Welcome to Mothman. I'm Alana Ray. I'm here at York College of Pennsylvania searching for the infamous Mothman. Mysterious 
thing on finding the money. Here are some tips of what I do to find the money. Thank you, Ashley. What a spectacular show you created. And last but not, but certainly not least, is group three with Megan Stefik, Charlie Hedger, Joe Johnson, Justin Rosenberg, and Colin Quinn and Jaden McFadden. I'm Ella Day, your host for group three. Here with us is Colin Quinn. So what were some of the challenges you had faced while producing your own show? Well, one of the earliest issues we had was that we had a much larger group than the others, so it was harder to actually find a time that worked for everyone to plan out our show, figure out what we wanted to do, who would take on what responsibilities. Uh, so we took, we had group chats, email chains, things like that, so we could stay communicated, but it wasn't as easy compared to thing, doing things like that in person. And then the day of our show, we had some issues exporting some of our footage and B-roll onto the hyperdeck. Because of that, we had to delay our initial shoot we had to cut out certain things, and it was a little stressful, but we were able to pull it off in the end. Wow. So how did you guys come up with the ideas for your show? So a lot of our ideas came from just the, uh, the first inspiration of being in mass communication and being in, in television and broadcasting and post-production. Um, just doing your, your regular television broadcast, doing a live stream of you know, news, of doing you know, everything basically but weather. Okay, and then my last question will be for you then. What advice would you give a mass communication group trying to produce their own show? Definitely plan a lot of ahead, meet up with everyone, figure out who wants to do what, who's capable of doing what tasks, that way you don't have any surprises or people who don't know what they're doing the day of the show. Test out everything you have, make sure all your footage looks good, export your graphics, test them out, maybe do a couple of rehearsal shows even before the day of, make sure everything works smoothly. That way, when it comes to the day of the actual show itself, you guys can just get right in, test it all out, and it can all work from there. Great. Now let's see some of Group three show. Thank you, Ella. Week 7 of the NFL has come and gone. We start this week in Cleveland, where both teams settled a mile away. The Browns played with a baker's dozen of injuries, and Teddy under the Bridgewater kept his head underwater, as the Broncos fell to the Browns, 14-17. to In Arizona, where J.J. Watt and DeAndre Hopkins put the X in Texans, as they played their first rivalry game. The Cardinals soar to victory, 31 to seven. In Green Bay, where Aaron Rodgers continues his farewell tour in dominating fashion, and the WFT fans are saying WTF as Rodgers threw for three touchdowns and over 250 yards. The Packers beat the Washington football team, 24 to 10. Basketball is officially back, with the first week concluding this past Sunday. The defending champion Milwaukee Bucks won their first home game, home opener against the Brooklyn Nets, but then lost the following game to the Miami Heat, who looked like a legitimate title contender already. The Philadelphia 76ers won their opener and won this past Sunday as well. Point guard Ben Simmons was suspended the first game by the team and is still yet to report to a game. As second year guard Tyrese Mackey fills in the starting role in the meantime. That wraps up our sports updates for the week. It's time for a quick commercial break. When we come back, Morrissey Wolf will bring you all of the new entertainment news. That's the end of our show tonight. Thank you so much to the news and writing production class for speaking with us about their shows. Tune in next semester for more from the Mass Communications Department. I'm your host, Ella Day. Happy holidays. And now for some words from our Professor DeVideo. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I just want to thank everybody from this particular semester. It was a great experience making some television programming here at YCP. I want to thank uh, all the students, uh, all the administration, and of course, I want to thank Ella for stepping up and being our co-host this evening. Uh, this was a difficult challenge uh, creating television programming, but our students here at YCP stepped up and did a fantastic job. Um, doing television programming is fun, but it's difficult, and uh, it's all about one big giant team effort. So thank you, everybody. I just wanted to, it's a big test tonight. I'm glad we were able to be here for each other. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> 